Okay, this series is about creating your own chess theory. Reason being, if we take a look at our own games as individuals so that we want to develop as an individual chess player. Let's take this game for instance. I've opened this center pawn here, the e4 pawn, because um, I like to push forward here to try and manage these squares here also give my king a bit of space also to allow my bishop freedom to move a little bit you know to get out into some action develop the knight so that I can potentially go and castle my king side so that is the theory that I am using right now at this moment in time it's my own theory now what you'll have is because players have played chess for so many years somebody else would have opened like that with their own theory behind it and then the next person would have done the same thing and so on and so forth so that's where the element of oh that's just theory comes into play because you may not be being original but I don't care what I care about is what is actually happening on the board so I'll take this so that the opponent doesn't um, think I'm not playing so I'm making the moves right here, right now, on this board, based on my own theory. If I relate back to other people's theories of, okay, well, if then I take this and then potentially they could do that and then potentially could, they could do the other, blah, 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 blah. That's fine if you want to memorize all of that stuff and you, you want to then say that the opponent is definitely going to make those moves and then you get upset when they don't. So then you, you're having to play your own game because it's not gone the way that you wanted. That's fine, you can go that way. What I'm saying is right from the very start, if you want to enjoy your games more, I'm gonna capture this pawn, poison pawn type thing, whichever. Um, if you want to enjoy your games more you really have to say this is my theory and if someone says well somebody else played that many moons ago you'll find it out after the game when you do your evaluation yeah um, that opening was done by 50 million people before yourself so you're not being original um, I'm not getting upset about it I'm saying to myself at this moment in time on this board my theory was I'm doing this so for me it's about preventing that aspect of people trying to control your thoughts in chess as to basically taking away your individuality so you've got to really focus on developing yourself and your own theories and stick with them and if somebody else has done it so be it but during the game that you're playing right here, right now, you have to use your own. That's the only way you're going to develop as a chess player because then when, when the sticky time comes, when the opponent does something that you don't expect them to do, you're going to be better shaped to be able to deal with that and respond to that because you're so used to actually using your own theory rather than somebody else's theory. Okay, so... Let's get into this game. So what we've got is we've taken the poison pawn, so um, it's enticed the queen out now. So basically they're challenging this pawn here. So they want to get the pawn back. We're gonna allow them to get the pawn back. So we're not bothered about the pawn. So we are actually just going to bring the knight back here. So I would also ignore the tried and tested type of um, concepts that get thrown around you know well that's theory so it's definitely going to do this that and the other you've got to experience it for yourself it's as simple as that so we're going to um, he's got the 20 pointer which is basically we can't castle but we're not too bothered about that we're going to capture the pawn here so I think what I'm trying to say is really in a nutshell try not to allow people to control you in terms of how you think on the board just because other people have done what you thought on the board does not mean you've done it wrong really establish you eventually you'll start playing your own game and even then 
when you're playing your own game you'll find that other people may have played that way at a certain point but the worst thing that I see and hear from players is the aspect of oh well the opening didn't work you know because of X Y and Z so now I'm having to wing it type thing and I'm like thinking well you should have been winging it in a sense right from the very beginning because you should have been playing your own chess not somebody else's chess you know so it's getting out of that mindset of thinking that you have to play book style or whatever it is that's what they call it you know it's book opening you know it's theory it's all all been done before type thing so what but if you're dealing with what is on the board it's not book you're actually playing a new game you're playing a fresh game relating to your own skills so it's about opening eyes and basically saying okay this is me playing the game and I'm responding in this way because I believe X Y and Z is going to happen and occur if I find out after the game that somebody else has done it and there's a different sort of theory behind it extra 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 then that's fine I might not even do that research because I'm wanting to develop myself I'm going to attack the rook here it's got the bishop as well so which one higher piece for a lesser piece exactly so he's gone for a two on one so we've got a two on one with our king just move this across so let's focus on the game now uh, ooh well now that's a horse of a different colour it's got a two on one he's then taken taken yeah he's got more pick uh, knight and a bishop pawns are coming through the centre here and there's always if buts and maybes in chess so not, don't beat yourself up about oh I'm not too sure yeah well could I go here could he go there type thing maybe I'll do this you listen to the grandmasters play you listen to the international masters play on on their tutorial etc there's if buts and maybes all over the place there's no guarantees of anything so if I go here he might do that if I go there he might do that maybe they'll do this maybe they'll do that oh I hope they do this it is about hope at the end of the day so I don't care what anyone says if you want to say you're not playing hope chess then you're, you're not playing the, you're not playing a game of chess because every move from right from the start of the play you're basically hoping that the opponent does something to disadvantage themselves so that you can then actually get an advantage in the game and that's basically it if that's not hope I don't know what is bishops come down it's looking to condense our king might as well look to try and get this um, rook off the board challenge it yeah, so we've got that there so now these pawns are on white squares at the moment these are on dark squares so then looking like the feeling fairly safe but he's needed to get his king into action now so we need to maybe start mm, touching on his bishop maybe get the king up a little bit supporting these pawns or maybe do we rush to get these on dark squares first that'll be the challenge it looks like the opponent may have left the game might be one of those endings that they don't like you know there's certain endings that people don't like and we'll claim victory on that so that is creating your own theory in chess